That girl in there, she called about one of Zach's cases. But which one? There's Walpole, Martell, and, uh... Angelino. One of them ties in with Zach's murder. The sooner all three cases are concluded, the sooner we'll know his killer. You can't pin anything on me. Now that business is over, maybe we can get a little informal. Yeah, let's talk about Walpole. I couldn't wait any longer. Aren't you glad to see me? I'll let you know. Why did you like the door? Let us you write and Vince. They're no good for him. They may start him thinking, he may think too much. And if he does, I'll shove a knife in his back. About those letters. I don't like what you put in them. I write what I want. I don't go for this blind stuff. To me, you're just another broad. Now, you're going to do what I tell you. No! The voice on the phone, Mrs. Martell, did it tell you anything about the person? You know, young or old, man or woman? No. No, but I'm sure it was disguised. It, it sounded so peculiar. I kept asking myself, who? All night long, I kept saying, who? Who would want to do such a thing? And listen, bring your kid. Oh, no. And leave her in the car while you're waiting at the mausoleum. But I, I couldn't do that. Nothing will happen to her if you play ball. You're not afraid of cemeteries, are you? You will be if you call the police. <laughs>